Hello everyone, my name is Mars and welcome back to Undertale True Pacifist Run Part 7, I think? Yeah, so we are in Hotland already and we managed to escape from the angry fish lady so Papyrus suggested that we should hang out in Undyne's house so the sign outside says love lab <laughs> like laboratory labrador why <laughs> that's what that mean <laughs> i mean i wouldn't rule it out <laughs> but yeah before we proceed further let's go back back to the waterfall there's a box here it's a box presumably to be pushed hell can I, I can't even push that Bleh. Today's monster don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah. There's no art in that. Actually, mindless schlock. It's just timing-based drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You, you're young. You still got hope. Hehehe. <laughs> Here, try solving this block-pushing puzzle. Okay, what what are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bah, forget it. This generation is really hopeless. I am? About this one. Huh, she's angry. He's angry. Wow, angsty much? Oh great, I really could have just free to try road the boat. Seriously. Okay, let's check this house that we haven't been here before. Ah, nice piano. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Sure. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure you give her this. What is that? She loves this. Okay. Wow, that's a nice door. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi. Hi, I don't think we... <laughs> Why? Don't you two come in? Okay. Hey, there's a giant sword over there. That's nice. Here, I'm dying. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. <laughs> uh, thanks. A bone? <laughs> I wonder if she just puts it in the trash can. Ah, yeah. Put it with the others. Yup, a drawer full of bones. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. What the heck are you doing, you papyrus? <laughs> so why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. <laughs> that face though! <laughs> that face though! Oh my gosh. Really? <laughs> How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Uh, dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it! He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> that 
face is so funny. <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. <laughs> I'll make you like me so much. You won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> She thinks making friends is a challenge. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Okay. Can I check the sword first? Humans suck, but their history kinda rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to 10 times their size. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say true? <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Okay. I hate cold food. So Alphys picks up my fridge and heats up food instead. <laughs> Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. <laughs> There's a silver radio. It has four spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. This oven is top of the line, empty deep thing. But you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food with home cook with fire magic. In the sink is a teacup with the shape of a fish. You wanna see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. One time, Alphys, oh, a friend, <laughs> came over here. All he did was slice seductively on the piano and felt himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. Are he, is she talking about Sans? I can't believe he left through the window like that. <laughs> now he nails the landing. <laughs> it's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table <laughs> for Undyne? <laughs> oh sure. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All set. What would you like? Ah. Uh. Hey, don't get up. <laughs> You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Poor table. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Um, can I have the Hot chocolate. Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Oh, she likes tea. Hot chocolate. Green cylinder. Soda. Sickly yellow liquid. Sugar. Goes in tea. Okay. T tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. <laughs> oh my god, Undyne. This is so funny. <laughs> okay, it's all done. I don't know, I just... That, I, I bet, what the heck? I'm pretty sure the teacup will slip through that broken table. How did that happen? Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. You think us empty. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Um, okay. Hey, you know, it's kind of change you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. Huh? You're both total weenies. <laughs> sort of. 
<coughs> you know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on try. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the royal guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight, <laughs> like a uh, papyrus. Okay, but um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let papyrus into the royal guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just well. I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I, I know. I know. I mean, look. He was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. Then he get ripped into little smiting shreds. That's part of why... I started teaching him how to Ah, oh, you're the one who who's teaching him, huh? To cook, you know. So, um maybe he can do something else with his life. Huh? Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get so I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus He's cooking lesson. He's <laughs> supposed to have that right now! And he's not here to have it. You will have to have it for him. Oh good. Oh goodness gracious. What kind of cooking cooking lesson is this? Oh my god. You just broke everything. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means it's I give you his lesson. We'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid we're gonna be best friends. Um, ouch. Let's start with the sauce. Uh huh. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now pound them to dust with your fist. How will you pound? I'm um, strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Great. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are, are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah! Oh goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, now we're covered in red. Uh, we'll just scrape this thing to the bowl later. But for now... Um, where did that come from? <laughs> we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. <laughs> oh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely! You throw everything to the pasar, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Press the producer. Stay harder. Okay, fine. Harder. Harder. Ugh, let me do it. Um, that's not fair. <laughs> you had a spear. Oh, <laughs> that's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Um, we're gonna burn your house, you know. Hotter, darn it! Hotter? Wait, that's... Oh my god. 
Yep, we burned her house. Ah, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Yep. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. What? Um... I've been... Hello? <laughs> Why are we fighting her without an armor? <laughs> I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. <laughs> One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Yeah. Um. Fake attack? You pretend to swing with Undyne with all your might. One. <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid sh such a ring stick. But the way you hit me right now, it... Remind me of someone who I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. <laughs> You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that Asgore... You and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually... Some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, the fish house looks like it's crying. Well, that was fun, huh? We have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. I'll see you later, punk. No, your poor house, you left your poor house burning? What the heck is wrong with you? Sounds like only fire lives here now. <laughs> poor house is crying, look at it. It's, it has even tears, that is so sad. <laughs> oh, why would you leave your house burning? I'm dying seriously. Oh my god. I'm glad I saved that for the true pacifist run. That was really fun. <laughs> anyway, I really need to take a break here. My voice is really tired and I think I've been recording for hours now. So, I'll take a break. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye!